first and foremost. Cheers, cheers. Cheers. Y'all see exactly what's going on, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all see exactly what's going on. We have two legends right here. Two, well, let me let me be honest. You deserve that Hall of Fame induction. You deserve it. You deserve you and you. We already know what you do. She's not even... retired, so you exactly, know, like, exactly. she's still going and going yeah, and going. Active. Hey, look at her. She's active. I don't even have to lace them up because I pay extra for the zip. zip oh. <laughs> well, guys. What? <laughs> I'm a little. What? I don't even know what that meant. Yes. I don't even know what that was. Are we starting this show like what you're drinking, what you're wearing? Like God Okay, yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. yeah. What, what are you guys drinking on? What you sipping on, Megan? Okay. What you sipping on over there? Uh, so this is uh, apparently a tangerine and tonic. Uh -huh. And my friend Lisa Marie Varon, Varon <laughs> got that for me, and this is my second one. And she's never had gin and tonic. Mm. No, I've had gin and tonic. I don't know if it's Tangare. It's Every time I think about Tangare, I think about gin and juice. Sipping on gin and juice. Way back. With my mind on my money and my money on my mind. Oh, we was on that one right there. We did. That's what I'm did talking about. Did you hear about when Snoop quit smoking for like 24 hours? <laughs> it was I, actually for a smoker. He didn't. He, he didn't did quit? Not. Yeah. I saw the headline. It but was I for a smoker. Uh, what I, I was so mad when I found out it was for a flame smoker. I was like... Snoop Dogg, what are you doing, man? We know Snoop Dogg I wasn't gonna stop it. smoking. I enjoyed it. What do you, you mean like a flame smoker? I just pop for the whole. It's like, literally yeah, like. Oh, a flame he doesn't smoker. want to do a joint, that kind of thing. Exactly. So he'll still stick with vape and gummies. No, I, he's still smoking. Yo, he's still smoking. Oh, yeah, no, yeah. He, he switched. It he to played smoker. everybody. Yeah, yeah, with wood chips. With wood. Not wood. Wood, wood, not yeah. wood chips. He quit the wood chips. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes. Now that we have, wait, no, 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 you're, you're sipping on the same thing? Tangeray and tonic. Oh, tangeray and tonic, tangeray and tonic. So, guys, you know, I just keep it simple. A little rum and coke. Okay. Oh. Oh. What were you doing? <laughs> we got to get content somehow. No, I'm playing. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, guys, guys, it is amazing to be here. WrestleCade weekend. Great things are happening. We drink it. We having a good time. But I want to talk to these ladies about something. The state of women's professional wrestling, and we got to talk about every single promotion. Not everyone, because no, we'd be here forever. come on. But the state <laughs> of North American women's professional wrestling. I want to start off with that. Where do you guys stand on the state of women's professional wrestling today? Let me just, I, I always feel like a grandma. Like in you need to quit doing that. No, because I'm very proud of the young talent and... Um, also, the veterans that still do it. Um, I'm retired, you guys. Um, I'm very proud. Like, no bitterness. I'm so like it's very it's excelled so much. Um, a little fast for me. Can you just slow? Can you slow down? Gra you know, grab grab a hold. Grab a hold. You know, you know, grab grapple a little bit, and just stay down and sell. It's too fast that I'm like, cause I'll go like, oh hey, did you see this? And the next spot happens. Just you know, let me digest it. But I do love it. I These love girls it. are yes. so preach it. Yeah, they're so athletic and just bu, 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 like it, it's. I don't know if I can survive this this er, this generation. And you know, for kudos to Mickey James. She would survive it. You know why? Duck too. Sorry, sis. You know. What's <laughs> <laughs> up? What's up? That's no, I'm just kidding. Yes. So when Mickey and I would go over a match, we there's a lot of um, lingo. Yeah. And I remember Brooke Tessmacher was with me because they put me with because she was so green, put put me as a tag, and then so she goes. TNT baby. T yes. And so Brooke would come up to me and she goes, I don't know what hasas hasas. I go, that's filler, filler, filler. That means like she goes, yeah, but what's filler, filler, what's filler? Habiche? But yeah, yeah, yeah. What's habicha? Yeah. Or like. <laughs> Us, yeah, yeah. Yes. 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 <laughs> we would have all this lingo. What's a yosh? We, we're like, okay, yada, 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 yeah, ba, bada bing, bada bing, bada bing, bada bing, let's do this, this, and then, you know, I want to eventually hit this. But you're, and then Brooke's poor face. Do you remember oh, no. her watching? She would go like this. Look at, like, at me, like, mm. mom, I don't know what I'm doing. What am I supposed to do? And I go, I go, later, 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 <laughs> later. I don't know what her sauce is. Because that's Mickey's thing is, her sauce, and then, yeah, 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 
Yes. Yes. One more time. Like, one more time. I think. Hacha! <laughs> I love a good audible. Yes. Yeah, nothing. Nothing like an audible. Give me that audible. Yes. You are not not an edible, but an audible. Oh, I'll, edible. I'll take an edible oh, too. Yeah. We'll, we'll have the edibles. Oh yeah, that was your signature too. She would go and then. We didn't have to. Yosh. 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 We didn't have to. Gotta hit him with the yosh there's sometimes. There's a lot of like, like we had. We. That's like, not my whole T-shirt line, actually. I'm coming out with it soon. Yosh. It's gonna be yosh. yosh. Mm. Habacha. Mm. Hot sauce. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I gotta see hot sauce one more time. Hot sauce. Uh. Like that. It's a hot. It's that could be a habacha too. That, that, it that goes for a hot sauce or a habacha. That could be. Six yeah. one way, half a dozen the other. <laughs> You're welcome. I I yeah. can't even say that. That she always says that six one way, half a dozen another. Yeah. Every conversation, and I'm like, it works. Does it, make it, well. it does. It does. It works. Okay. Yeah. Well, we're all over the place. No. <laughs> look at. I love it. Look at Buck. I love it. Waiting like get yeah. the hell over here. Point camera to him. Point camera to him. Sing. Let's goddamn there sing. There it is. He's. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Okay. So now that she's given her her oh, yeah, version yeah, yeah. of it. Okay. Sorry. Oh, I thought I did. No, no. Oh. You, you gave your audibles. That's what oh, you gave. That's oh, what so I then, add to most conversations. I'm retired, so I don't. I, I didn't have a filter. So you tell, like, the new generation girls. No, I think it's important, though, because I think that the stuff that you were able to do with the women's division then, when women weren't doing those things, like, it raised the bar for women everywhere to have something to achieve to, to go like, oh, actually that is possible for me. I can, I can main event raw. I can mm. have a hardcore match. Yeah. You know, I can have all these things and I can be uh, respected and wrestle like one of the boys, but still be a woman. Yes. And embrace both sides of that, of like what it is to be a female in professional wrestling in a male dominated sport that the men get all the achievements and they get all the thing. And now to see like women I'm super grateful that I can still do it and be a part of it, right? Well, like, I'm and so still, proud of you. I know, and I love you because we speak every day, and we yeah. we have a, also have a podcast, and God show. TV show. Mm. Yeah, YouTube. go follow it. Check it's gonna it out. be the link's actually gonna be in the description. So if you just oh, drop absolutely, it, it's gonna be in the description. It. All right, all right, all right. It'll get down there. <laughs> <laughs> These noises are great. Oh, okay. yeah. I love it. I, told you, I love an audible. Yeah, and you know what? And, and you're welcome. Nothing for, like an audible. For and you're welcome for the three extra subscriptions. Oh. Wow. Three. Wow. Damn. You gonna do me like that? <laughs> no, it's okay. I'm messing three. with you. Three. 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 Oh, three. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> oh my God. Where are we at, ladies and gentlemen? I have no Women's clue anymore. Women's wrestling is amazing oh, wait, wait, and it's yeah, yeah. better than ever, honestly. Yeah. To see it, to be able to headline WrestleMania, to be able to headline pay-per-views, to be in main event matches at this point in my mm -hmm. career, you know, it's insane. I never thought, if you would have talked to Alexis Lurie, or if you would have talked to Mickey James when she first broke in in 2005 and say, oh, will you ever headline WrestleMania? I'd have been like, what? Yeah. I'm just trying to be Mickey James, yeah. right? Like, I'm trying, just trying to get that name. But to see where it's evolved to and where uh, everyone is not only accepted, but they're celebrated and everyone can just, like, be as amazing as they want to be is freaking awesome. Yeah. And, and we, be seen as equals across the board. Also, too, is like back in our day, like when we had the lingerie matches and the bikini matches, we know you guys loved it. We hated it. We would go, you know what? Watch out for my clothes on. I'm going to tear your head off because they're going right. to forget I'm in bra and panties. Yeah. We hated those, but we never, we never talked bad about them. We knew it was part of the entertainment the the, mm -hmm. the, the sexiness the evolution yes but um it's it's come so far where if you go to the girls now and say hey we want a pillow fight match yeah are you kidding me that would never happen mm. ever happen we gotta loosen up the threads on this back side right here so the feathers go flying <laughs> you know make sure you got a lot of pudding on a lot of pudding. A lot of pudding. Do you remember like us on um, like in TNA? Do you remember like us our hardcore matches? Like um when you I was like, hey, slide me across the table. Do you remember yeah. that? Yeah. And then I go, stick my head in the toilet. Fight. And then stick my head in the toilet. Yeah. These are all my ideas to bury myself. Yeah, she did that. I yeah. did. I'm giving. I was like, I'm, I'm not, not giving him. You. I'm not drowning you on television. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pay per view or did it. save it for pay per view. Save it for pay per view. Yes, yes. <laughs> Yes. It's gotta be a pay-per-view. But we would do like like you and I had like an agreement. Mickey and I 
um, one of my favorite opponents are like Mickey James and ODB because we went out there to have fun as well as performing. But if something gets screwed up, we don't. We never got mad at each other. Yeah. We're like, go with the flow. You know what? We don't. We're not a movie. We don't get a second take. Mm. They're like, okay, cut. That didn't go well. You have one take only. You go with the flow. But we had fun. And we trusted each other. Um, if anything, you know, we laughed about our mistakes. We laughed. Yeah, yeah. Do you remember this? What, what was that arm drag? Like, I, <laughs> I thought you were doing a hip toss or something like that. Yeah. But we had such a freaking good chemistry. Yeah. Such and a good time. It was fun. Yeah. Yeah. I think, too, if, because we were very forgiving. If we, like, if we, quote, unquote, screwed up in, like, whatever, we would just make it. That's, that's the key right there is being able to make whatever you're thrown into awesome and not have everything uh, designed in on, like, this is what I have to do, but this is a maybe if it feels right or if it's there. We're yes. going to do this. If it's not there, we're going to do something else. And yeah. I think that's what you and I had. And so I think and that's why we were able to take it easier on if we screwed up. Or yeah. Like, and also, it wasn't too, we like also a, listened to the fans, too. So we're like, going, mm. oh, okay, they're not biting on this. So this is, like, this is what comes back to old school. Um you guys all think we choreograph everything. We, we just go backstage, hey, I might hit this, I might do that, I might, whatever, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you in the ring. You know, we, that's called calling the match. And these days, it's, it's so, it's it, not a lot of, I'm not bearing the business. Don't use that at all, at all. I'm just saying, <laughs> like, to go out there, like, if her and I went out there and didn't talk about anything, we have a... a awesome match and that's mm. the 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 difference the maker. art yeah. of it is like going i don't need to go backstage and go this is not a routine it's not a routine you just you have to listen to the fans and they're like okay they're not biting i need mm. to turn it up well, cover your true. cover your faces i'm gonna beat the hell out of you yeah right to get well, the people to hate me it's going to different um, territories because every uh, audience depending on where you are mm -hmm. in the country or in the world uh, bites on different things and yeah. they connect with different things right totally. so things that you thought were would people would react to in philadelphia they may not react to in texas right so then mm. you go there and you're like it's if you get used to doing like this a custom thing then it's like well i'm not actually listening to what the people are reacting on yes which is how you connect with the fans right Yes. So on do you think? Another level. Emotion. I don't like, know how we got here. Where did we go? I don't know. <laughs> we, got, we got really deep, deep. <laughs> no, yeah, but but you got it like every, like we got it like know our audience and like going okay they're not biting on this I gotta change it up. Right. And what's um, not working? What is not, working? What? Yeah. And then yeah. and that's I think. I think we're both lucky to have worked in WWE and TNA and then traveling, all over the country. All over. Because the world. Japan. You go to Japan, they don't stand up go, yeah, yeah, yeah. They go, and you're like, oh, that's right. their pop. Mm -hmm. That's the big pop of the night, right? Right. And then, but you go to New York, they love the heels. Right. And you're like, oh my God, they're not supposed to love me. Same in they're, Philly. Philly is kind Philly of like too. gnarly. Yeah. Yeah. But then you go to Kansas or you go to North Carolina, which is where we are right now yeah. for Russell Cade. Have a Russell great time. Cade. Yes. Yes. Um, <laughs> that was I like just a free stole, plug. I just stole Mick, Mick Foley's gimmick. <laughs> right Wait, here. You gotta get some teeth Winston knocked out Salem. No, if we yeah. both put our thumbs in, it blocks the camera. Yeah, because oh, we have big like hands. Trick. Oh, tell like them the story trick. about that. I can't. Yes, she can. Come on, she's playing, y'all. Y'all better cheer on. Tell time? her to, come on. Come on. <laughs> yeah. And the crowd smiled. smiled. And the crowd smiled. <laughs> so, true story, Lisa and I both have large hands. Yes. So to the point where, well, come on. Lisa, <laughs> all right. Lisa that. and I would, would fi high five in the thing. Ooh, and, that's Car sound. and Carlito would hold his ears and then fall down and go on like, oh, and he, he would, would check the roof. Yeah, he would bump sure from it. Not, yeah, yeah. He would take it, a bump sometimes yeah. if he was actually in a ring. Yeah. Um, he was super self for it. But yeah, we both have large hands because yeah. we're women with large hands. And that's yeah. okay. It's okay. It's it's we're right. fine with all it. Right. So your... what? I have to wear a large ring. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't but have to But we would, we would high it. five. We would high five and sell it. We're like, oh, oh mother jumper. And no one mother got jumper. it out there. Like, no one got it in the audience except the backstage because they all, like, Brooke Tessmacher also has. Brooke also has, has large hands. Lar so, like, if you guys do a guest appearance, going like, 
my God, Mickey and, and Lisa are they were right. Your hands are gigantic. <laughs> <laughs> do not do that. Don't do that to Okay, her. just say God Lisa bless. said you, you have large hands. I'll, I'll take the yeah, heat. Yeah, put it on I'll you. I'll take, I don't care. She doesn't I don't, care. Yeah, she doesn't either. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, now let's switch up the tempo. What do you feel the new girls rely on a little too much that you didn't rely on in your time wrestling? Social media. Mm, okay, okay. We didn't have social media. We had MySpace. And I think, oh. um, or Facebook, but we had Facebook a little early bit. Early Facebook. And websites. Oh. I didn't have a whole, I didn't, I wasn't active. I think, I think that when I first broke in, like when you touch on yeah. that, it was actually, we were told to stay off of uh, websites. Stooge sites. Um, Stooge dirt sites. sheets. Because it dirt gives sheets. you a false, one, if you are just breaking in and you are very talented and you are, you know, exceeding above your expectations already, it gives you a false sense of like how great you are prior to your greatness so then it almost halts your uh development and your growth mm. in your in you know your journey or whatever that is yeah. but also i think that it also for people they go like stay off those because those are not the medium that you need to be like learning from if, if you want to be a great it's it, toxic it's more like it's a very like um surface it's service gratification over like the real gratification of uh, learning from your peers and learning from your trainers and stuff like that, right? Because mm. fans are fans, and so if they think you're great because you can do great things, then they're going to think you're great regardless, whereas your peers are going to know, like, the other in-betweens, the other little things, they're going to help you uh, develop your craft. Yeah. Because it's two very different things. Completely. Yeah. Completely. And then, like, like we watch, we would read the Stooge sites. We called it Stooge sites because they would tell the reaction like before it got on television mm -hmm. um we got in trouble for reading those but we're like people don't realize how like we're very sensitive people we're not like hard nails like it's it's like we do read those and like one little comment hurts our feelings and i'm like god i'm begging for you to get in the ring have one take mm -hmm. to get this right we're human that rope might be Loose. oily or oily from mm -hmm. the other person yeah. that th things happen it's oftentimes oily actually it is actually oh, yes. no. it's very oily it, yes oh no yes and um it's just yeah. rather oily i remember rather oily. i remember telling a story <laughs> rather yeah <laughs> yes lather oily is that what you said <laughs> rather that's better though lather oily lather might be oily. better okay. yeah. lather yeah. oily I, rather, I, re rather. I remember coming backstage and i was telling um Dar regal I was Darren. Darren. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and I said, said, oh, my God, Darren. this guy just, look at what they said about my match. And he goes, "You, why are you reading this? It's garbage. They don't do what we do. They're, they, they don't experience. And then, like, what, you know, we get hurt out there. Like, things happen. You're, like, going, hey, hey, sis, stay away from my arm. I just, I think I tore my arm. Just mm -hmm. stay away from it. You know, or work it. Mm -hmm. Or work it, Mickey. Right? And then, mm -mm. True story. Did you guys, how many people remember the cage match with Lisa and I? Thank oh, you. Oh, yeah. yeah. Good yeah. Great segue. Yeah. yeah. Great Hell segue. Yeah. And when we mom, talk about, you taught her well. <laughs> That's why they pay her the big <laughs> Thank, bucks. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> so, real story Lisa and I in that match, like, we realized that uh, for Impact Wrestling, for TNA Wrestling, actually at the time, Forgetting their name back. Mm -hmm. uh, Lisa and I were headlining the show. We were the main event of the show. And not only that, like, it was going to be this cage match, which was like the blow off to our angle, which when I first came into TNA, Lisa was like my real big first angle. And I was so excited because we never, aside from Lisa, and yeah. our careers have integrated. Yeah so much in our lives but like uh so obviously one of the night i debuted it was i came up and i beat up lisa but then my first real like real big angle in tna was that but halfway through the match i don't know if you guys if you go ever go back and watch this match you'll see it i throw lisa over the top rope and she goes in between the cage and i put my arm i've never done this but it, the cage was so close to the rope i put my arm down and my arm snapped okay Ooh. go ahead and her elbow dislocated yes and that was probably, and we had 18 minutes for the segment, and that was probably minute eight in. Ooh. And I was like, 
let's take it home. We're okay. Let's just whatever. And she was like, no, we're going to finish this. Yeah. I go, no, 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 we're not. That's my girl. Yeah. Warrior. Yeah. Earl Hepner goes, do a roll up. But I go, we're in a freaking cage. No. Are you kidding me? (laughs) I go, this is our finale. This is the exclamation point. There were other points And then Mick and the Mickey. So we had the spot, which I thought was going to be cool. I go up to the top, right? Mm -hmm. And you're like, you're trying to pull me down because we had a, a good spot. But she goes, sis, sis, we call sis. Like, okay, get down, get down, get down. And then um, I go, no, no, let's do our, sp- no, no. I was like so She yelled at me. No. She well, hollered. I, well, I she mumbled hollered. it. I mumbled it because, oh, yeah. because there's fans yeah. out there, right? <laughs> so I'm like, no, no. She kicks me. She so grunted. fucking, excuse me. So you freak- can ask, go ahead. I, I know. Uh, so freaking hard on my chest to get me to take a bump, okay? Because I had a moonsault planned. Like, she kicks me. I do a pretty moonsault on her. Yeah. Right, yeah, I did. Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah. All the... Right here, right here. And then, um, and then, so, there's a point. If you guys do watch that match back, look at my face. She goes to the top to do a Luthez off the top of the cage, right? My arm's... Like, Earl's, like, yell, cussing at me. You don't need to do this. You don't need to do this. And I go, you'll see. Do you remember watching the end? We went to a bar, and we had a closed-off section and watched it. Yeah. I'm, I go like this, and I look up at her, and I go, I wink. <laughs> I got you. I, I'm catching you. I catch you. And then I caught you. Mm-hmm. Boom. One, two, three. She pins me. And um, she goes, I love you. I love you. And then, um, and then, and then, and then the doctors, everybody comes out, and they're like, "It's dark," means cameras are off. Okay, so and I go, <laughs> "That's when I cried." <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's when that's when I cried because I was like, um, I, I don't know what I did. I had a um, remember when Sid Vicious, his leg, oh. remember that? I, so I, I thought, unfor- I do you remember? Th- it. I I saw that was nasty. it twice. I I can't see it again. I thought my arm was hanging like that, and I was like. Look at my arm, Earl. And he goes, did you break it? And I go, I don't know. Is it hanging? Uh, yeah, we were like arguing. I remember. During that match, her and I go, no, don't go to the top. And you we remember me fi- climbing? Well, she says argue, we were fighting. Yeah, we're, she, get, no, we don't need to do that. Yeah. Just, no, no, end it, end it, end it. And I'm like, uh-uh, this is Hell her man. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm a grown-ass woman, y'all. <laughs> She was like, I, I go, no, we can't end it like this. We had a big feud, you know, finally. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. But that's, that's how tough she is. No, no. And but that's the trust in wrestling is like you trust the best matches are with your best friends because you are putting each other's bodies in each other's hands. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, yeah, she's not going to hurt me, really hurt me or try to hurt. Like, like it's this is you're only best. You're only as good as your, your opponent. the opponent. Right. Right. Yeah, it's true. It's true. It's damn true. Thanks for hanging. No. Okay, you might shout out this podcast. You have, you have too. to do a copyright. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sit break. Hold on, sit okay. break. Sit break. Hold oh, on. We gotta go. Cause wait, wait, because uh, Mickey's song. gonna sing. I'm gonna Mickey sing is gonna y'all. sing, y'all. You know, um, get the camera over there to that good sir one more time. Oh, Buck. Buck. One more time. Let's go. Oh, Let's go. So, yeah. guys, we're about to get these two lovely ladies, legends, you name it. They've done it all. They are greatness personified. So, signing off. Hardcore country, Mickey James. And. What do I call myself? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm legend. Okay, uh, Tara, Victoria, Lisa Marie, and um, also one of the hosts on God TV mm. on YouTube, God TV show with Mickey James, SoCal Val, and myself. You'll see us on ET, like E Entertainment. Ooh. <laughs> and it's straight like Tomorrow. that, y'all. It's time yeah. to get up out of here. You know why? Peace. I'm a grown ass woman, y'all. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>